Hi everyone, it's Liam here from A Shot of Wildlife and in today's video I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about the Monk Jack. Monk Jack are also known as Reeves Monk Jack or Chinese Monk Jack and as this suggests they are non-native to the UK. They were first introduced at Woburn Park in Bedfordshire in the early 1900s and soon escaped into the neighbouring countryside. Since then, they have been deliberately introduced to various other sites around the country and are now found across most of the UK. Muntjac are the smallest species of deer found in the UK, growing to 50 cm tall at the shoulder and to no more than 18 kg in weight. They are vibrant brown throughout the spring and summer with a more duller, almost grey colour in the colder months. Only the male monk jack grow antlers, which are usually single pronged and grow out of fur covered pedicles on the top of their heads. Both sexes have dark V shaped markings on their faces and have a short tail that they raise when alarmed to display a white underside. Muntjac also have a large gland beneath each eye from which they secrete pheromones. They sometimes rub these glands on twigs and branches to leave messages to other deer in the area. Muntjac have a wide diet that varies throughout the seasons and includes leaves, shoots, bark, fruit, grasses, bulbs and mushrooms. Because of the variety of their diets, Muntjac can live in pretty much any habitat including woodlands, farmlands, wetlands and they are becoming more common in urban areas including gardens, parks and cemeteries. Muntjac are active throughout the night and day but they are more likely to come out after dark when they are in places where they might come into contact with people. Unlike most other species of deer, Muntjac do not have a defined breeding season and breed throughout the year. The males, which are known as bucks, hold loose territories and will mate with any receptive females that they come across. The females which are known as does, will then be pregnant for seven months before giving birth to a spotted coloured young known as a fawn. These fawns are up on their feet following their mothers around from shortly after birth. They gradually lose their spots over the next two to four weeks and after eight weeks the fawns are fully weaned. Then they might stay with their mothers for several more months before becoming completely independent. In the wild, Muntjac can have a surprisingly long lifespan, with bucks being recorded as living to 16 years of age and does reaching more than 19 years of age. This long life, their ability to live pretty much anywhere and breed throughout the year, has contributed towards the Muntjac's colonisation of the UK and there are currently thought to be in excess of 40,000 of them living here. Well, that's everything you need to know about the Monk Jack, and that's the end of this video. Now, if you did enjoy it, check out one of these other two British wildlife videos and subscribe to the channel for future content. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.